This is Suzanne Nance with Pupper Bluff Realty, here to give you some important information on buying your first home. Buying your first home is not something you or anyone should take lightly. You should be prepared with as much information as possible, and you should understand your local and real estate market and a current mortgage market. First off, how much home can you afford? As a first time home buyer, it's important to have an accurate idea of how much money you can borrow for your new home, and most importantly, how much you can afford. Should you get pre-qualified or pre-approved? With a pre-qualification, little information about your finances is verified, often none. What you need is pre-approval, in which more information, your credit and other factors is checked, and you can have a better idea how much you can afford for your first home. What is your credit score? First time home buyers should obtain a copy of their credit report, review it, and make any corrections. What kind of mortgage should you consider? The mortgage best for you will depend on your current finance situation, whether or not your financial situation will change in the next few years, and how long you want to stay in your home. What documents do you need? W-2s, pay stubs, bank or other asset statements. What is a reasonable offer? A knowledgeable agent can be very helpful in deciding how much your offer should be. What is a sales contract? The sales contract sets the amount of your offer and usually includes extra details such as which appliances stay, who pays closing costs, and when you like to take possession of the house. Your agent will have you sign a sales contract and offer earnest money. Earnest money is a deposit showing that you're serious about your offer to buy the home and it's later applied as part of your down payment or other closing costs. Do you need homeowner's insurance? Yes, you'll need a valid homeowner's insurance policy before you close on your home. You can't get a mortgage without it. Be sure to ask for and to take a final walkthrough of the property shortly before the closing to make sure the home is in condition you expect it to be. Once everyone signs the appropriate documents and the checks are exchanged, you'll be given the keys to your home and that's it. So there you are. As a first time home buyer, you're on your way to being better prepared for getting a mortgage and buying your first home. Don't take chances, do your research and ask lots of questions. Once again, my name is Suzanne Nance with Popper Bluff Realty, where our mission is to bring families home.